Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Bitcoin breakdown. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. I'm going to give a quick shout out to everyone watching the video today. Definitely appreciate the support. Make sure you guys mash that subscribe button if you haven't already. All you newbies out there, make sure you stay to the end because we'll be revealing our free ebook, The Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide, that has all our best kept trading secrets and strategies. Tons of facts and keys in there that you guys need to know in the market in order to make some money. So don't wait, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. You guys make sure you stay to the end and collect that ebook and let's get started. As you can see, Bitcoin has been in a free fall. So I'm here to remind you guys, it's just not, this does not represent the future of Bitcoin and the weak hands will always fall first. It seems there's a small shift happening and people are unloading their Bitcoin for other large cap altcoins like Litecoin, um, XRP and other coins like that we can see in the market that uh, certain other coins arc up 8.5 percent a very legit token um ether party is up 30 percent xrp has been doing nothing but climbing lately litecoin is climbing eos is climbing all these are great product my projects xlm is climbing a bitcoin cash fell really hard um, it is also climbing IOTA, another great project is climbing. GNT, another great project is climbing. Nano, you know, people are moving some of their money into some of these great large cap altcoins and out of Bitcoin, uh, which is interesting. But there's very interesting things I want to point out about Bitcoin itself. Not going to waste a whole lot of your time with the mumbo jumbo, guys. Um, so let's, take a, let's look at some key things that we always look at. First, we'll start with, the, with where Bitcoin is now. It's holding support at the 4,800 level right in here. As you can see, it was support. It was resistance here, support here. Now it's holding as support. The daily candle is right on top. I'll zoom in. So you can see this hammer candle forming, which is usually a major reversal candle, but it's not complete. And we've seen it fail many times before in these prior setups. So we're holding support right here. And if you look in closer and we use the Fibonacci, I can show you guys something that's very interesting. We are pretty much sitting at the same support, 78.6, and the 4,800 level are pretty much pinpoint together. We're looking for this to hold. Another key thing for you guys to look at on the daily chart is the one of my favorite indicators. I use this for confluence all the time and is the relative strength index or the RSI. Now I want to see, I want you guys to notice where the RSI is right now. Let's, let's mark it. The RSI on the daily is at about nine. Actually it's probably, yeah, right around nine or 10. So let's look back in the past guys and let's see, has Bitcoin ever been this low? And the answer is no. I've never really seen that before, guys. I mean, the lowest point I can see here is about 16. Every time we've come anywhere near this area, what has happened? Look here. Overbought or oversold completely all the way to 89.90. Complete overbought territory. So I think that's what needs to happen. Something like this. And we're there, guys. We have never been this low on the daily RSI ever. Look at the complete break of the trend at around 30 is where it usually bounces at, this level here. We've never seen it this low. So it's something very interesting for you guys to take a peek at. Um, also, the weekly chart is heading down to the bottom level. It's only been there once or twice. This is what catapulted us to the bull run. Maybe if we can get down to the 30 level, right now we're sitting right around 35. If we can get down to the 30 level, I think we can see a huge bounce. Either way you look at it, guys, we should see a huge bounce right now. Um, it's pretty um, laid out for us. We've never been this low. We need a bounce back. It could be just a bounce back and a retest. It doesn't mean we're going up. It just means we need some sort of rebound somewhere because we are completely more oversold than we have ever been. So that's something for you guys to take a look at. Um, this does not mean Bitcoin cannot fall even lower to the 3000 level or, or even, you know, anywhere in that area. I'm just saying a bounce is imminent. We're, we're starting to see a formation of a hammer candle here. A bounce to the upside would be great to see. If we completely fail through here and drop even more, 
Um, it's just complete panic and sell-offs, guys. That's what we're looking for. So keep your eye on Bitcoin. Keep your eye on the 78.6 level, which is the 4,800 level. And um, we will see you guys tomorrow to see how this plays out. Make sure you guys uh, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and go ahead and get your free ebook, guys. Don't forget to click that link. It's the BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That's like YouTube. Get your free ebook, the training series that comes along with it. It's very interesting. If you guys have any questions or comments, put it in that comment field. Let's keep an eye on these three things, guys. The support here, the support at the 78.6, and the completely oversold RSI are all reasons for us to believe that we'll see some upside action. But I do believe that'll be followed by some more downside. Um, so let's see what happens, and we'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin Breakdown.